So it's some drama with almond milk and Essie and y'all little lives, perfect lives, wants to sue. So let's get straight to the reaction. Woo! Got it! <laughs> That's what we're doing today. We're doing a reaction, guys. Because look, I've been so busy, man. If you've been on my IG and you can read between the lines, you know, there's some tea about me on my IG. But, you know, you would know that I've been doing stuff. But not only that, I have this big R story. Yo, oh, check this out. A whole series ready for you guys regarding Ocean and that. And it is big. Look how many pages of all those receipts. So yes, I do have a whole brand new series for you guys that's coming out soon and it's a lot of work because I have editors but you guys love the way, you know how they have different perspectives and I put it together so it's like, you know what I do guys, you know how my series are really really epic and you guys really really love them even if they're old, you guys still watch them, I get like a lot of views on these little series, you guys enjoy it so please bear with me okay, I'm trying to put it together and trying to live life at the same time, yes once I do that editor has to add all her stuff into it and then you're gonna get like a lot of videos even this weekend you're gonna get videos it's a lot like damn I took one day break and it like slowed my whole process down and that's because I made a mistake in the Erica and Damien series I'm making the final episode on that I just made a mistake so I had to like refix that and oh boy I don't even get into it let's just I need to relax just like you and today we're gonna watch some tea from the tea room and not even lazy it's me working smart today that's what I'm doing sweetheart it's easier for me to react to a video than put all that stuff together film talk about it so let's just do this for now until the series is done and then you're gonna get your regular uploads from me your boy Martin Lewis okay okay, okay guys so it looks like Armand and Essie have yo that's Armin oh my god it looks like he has an eight in a lot of people are saying he's depressed I guess sad people do sad things because yo he's been scared and his fans for the longest him and Essie have like a scam organization going on on TikTok I'll wait for you today basically selling personal information to people overseas you can go to jail. I don't know if he's personally doing it or he's linked with the people who are doing it and the people are paying him money to promote it on his TikTok and a lot of his little fans are falling for it so I'm just giving you guys awareness watch out for people like this a lot of these people are very inconsiderate do not care about your well-being and that stuff so just keeping a G with you they evil you know I'm keeping it real on this channel some social medias you guys really fall for them you like them and all that but really they don't care about you and your well-being and what happens to your money so I'm just putting it out there be careful what he promotes on TikTok but anyway let's continue called it quits yet again they unfollowed each other on Instagram after they just refollowed each other and then on Valentine's Day Armand just posted a picture with him and his daughter and stated that she was his Valentine which <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like a big hint, right? When someone does that, you, you're with someone, right? And then they like, here's my Valentine, and you know you're in a relationship with them. You're just like, especially if there was the unfollowing situation. So I can definitely understand why people were coming up with this conclusion that they're not together again. I don't think they were ever together. I think they just came back together to make videos together. That was it. They were just living in the same household. Feel me? I could be wrong, though. Rightfully so. Now we know a couple weeks ago it seemed like things were getting spicy and Oh my god, why, why are you doing that to the camera? Together, but it looks like there's trouble in paradise yet again. They also both been on Twitter tweeting things basically confirming that they're no longer together. You can't make someone love you by giving them more of what they already don't appreciate. I'm a mama. <laughs> Yikes. Armand tweets, you can't make someone love you by giving them more than what they already don't appreciate. Facts. Then he also states, mentally, I'm just not here. So, guys, if you don't remember... That's going to be very hurtful. I feel like a lot of these boys as well don't really have a proper relationship from themselves. Because how long was it until they jumped into another relationship and boom, both of them pop babies at the same time? It's very messy, man. It's a lot of, like, deep-ish going on. This time he basically stated that Essie didn't appreciate anything that he was doing and he was like I don't know how I be putting up with certain ish so that was the main cause of the breakup so then also Essie unfollowed
followed Armand <laughs> on her Instagram. Now I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, yeah. oh, that doesn't mean that they broke up. Guys, if you could take your time out to unfollow someone on Instagram, that means you're having troubles and like, look, I don't wanna see you on my timeline anymore. I don't wanna see your presence. I don't wanna be in your presence. I don't want you in mine. So the relationship is over yet. A long time ago. Well, last year this boy was upset with me because I said, don't talk to me unless you're single because he had a boyfriend. So he unfollowed me. It was funny. Wasn't, you know, I was just putting up with my standards, you know? So yeah, definitely when people get hurt or they're upset with you, they unfollow you. So obviously something definitely is going on. But hey, none of my business. But hey, we're watching this. Let's go. Again, they followed each other and then unfollowed each other like two weeks later. Thing is though, Trey and Sinia have seemed like they re- That's how you pronounce her name, Sinia. Okay. Their relationship on Valentine's Day, they spent it <laughs> that together baby with is their so beautiful cute. daughter. So it seems like they're looking to work things out. I'm hoping now that Armand and Essie are back on bad terms that it doesn't give Trey and Senia reason to get back on bad terms because we know how that goes. Okay guys, so now that that's teased over, I just wanna give a quick little prayer and have everyone send out to prayers to the people that are in Texas. They don't need my prayers, not the kids. Like it's a lot going on right now. I noticed a lot of YouTubers <laughs> posting that it's cold outside. Yo, they're not used to the winter. Yo, I hate the cold too, bro. I really hate the cold. Um, I definitely want to travel to Houston soon, so I need to wait for that winter to like calm down when it's nice and hot again. And I definitely thinking of going to Houston again. I have a lot more friends in Houston and stuff like that. I love Houston, so I definitely want to go back and check it out. A lot of people do not have lights. So so, um, yeah, I know it's kind of like a normal occurrence for everyone. I heard about for that. Canada. Tyler was telling me about that. He said in Austin or whatever, it's like, no, no power. Rich Lux had no power in his little penthouse up in the up in the sky. I'm like, damn, it must be really cold. Older parts of the country, but down in Texas, they're not used to that. Yeah, like Jaleah tweeted, some people really have to sleep in this weather. <laughs> you guys did not know the lights, uh, people's electricity went off. Oh, oh that is so bad I would not be able to deal with that what did Bianca say pray to all the people who are out of power and water oh um, yo Bianca's prayers to all the people who are out you got the snow you know I don't know how that's you're gonna melt that snow but hopefully you can do something with that snow and drink it if you can I don't know actually don't follow my advice I don't I don't know if that's healthy but anyway of power or water because they were cutting people's power and water so Jazz puts them is everybody in Houston power off is too cold for this ish oh my god that's crazy why are they cutting off people's power is it dangerous like that much snow and then she got really upset when she seen breaking Texas electric grid operators have initiated rotating blackouts across the state after power demand reached an all-time high what wait a minute so you're telling me more power was need that doesn't even make sense bro that does not make sense so you're telling me more power was was needed people already use more power than like what the hell that doesn't make sense to me how does you use more power like make that make sense if it's hot you're using the aircon all the time so if it's cold you have the heater on the whole time just like how you have the aircon the whole time right so I'm assuming wouldn't you already have the same amount of power that you already need from when you had the aircon on I'm just saying that's just a suspicious that's a suspicious you know, basically the Texas grid operators basically doing rotating blackouts across the state. And um, she stated, it's effing cold. Turn the power of the F back on or I'm going to sue for distress at this point. <laughs> oh my God. I feel so bad for these people. That's a lot to deal with. Now, Chris also has some things to say. I'm going to post the clips of his lives here so you guys can see. I mean, of course, he's from Detroit. So he think it's all funny that people in Texas are making a big deal out of a little snowstorm but anyways guys of course nah, it's a big deal when your power is off all this down in the comment section below hey y'all in houston like y'all ain't never seen no snow bro like stop fucking calling me text me tomorrow some you see a snow outside i'm from detroit i've been seeing it i ain't out here jory y'all know jory lacy this lane you keep calling me bro bro have you ever seen snow you see the snow that's all <laughs> y'all gonna be traveling nowhere y'all there in Houston, talking about some y'all be traveling, talking about some Houston and Atlanta. Nah, y'all ain't never been in no other state, stupid ass. Bro, like, you know you can drive, my nigga. Y'all be stupid as hell. Look, this 
Look, it's no snow. Yo, he's scared. I'll be like that too. Driving that slow, with your ugly ass. <laughs> ah, go on the ground. It's no ice at all. And dude driving about slow as hell. Oh my. It looked kind of icy on the top. I would be concerned. You feel me? <laughs> stupid ass little boy. Look, that nigga still back there. Look, it's stupid ass. <laughs> Bro, why the fuck everything closed, my nigga? I'm trying to make some motherfucking breakfast. It closed is closed. All because it's slippery outside. I'm trying to go fuck my side. She's talking about some of my lace clothes today due to the weather. <laughs> what? You want to say that the other day? Damn. <laughs> wow, they're yeah. really not used to the snow, but if they have their power turned off, then, you know. But, y'all, the girl curved you, Chris, because it's cold. There's every reason to hook up with you to keep her warm. So, she must got another dude on the side that's better than you. You feel me? Not shrimpy. <laughs> that's probably what happened. She got someone strong there, you know. <laughs> keep her warm. Damn. Disgusting. It's just fucking snow. I like, drive down. Oh sh oh sh oh. Hey, if y'all in Houston, y'all power out. If y'all need heat, I'm charging five hundred at the door. Five hundred at the door. Give me your Oh my god, that's funny. Yo, tell me, my Texas audience, comment below and let me know right now how's the weather down there? Like, how are you dealing with it? Because I hate the cold, so I will be complaining and upset just like you guys. That's why I live in hot climates. I'm actually thinking of moving to Brazil soon because their climate is like in Rio. Apparently, their climate is summer all year round. Because over here, they have like a little bit of a cold climate and I don't like it. Like, right now, we have a little bit of cold. Cold. And it's not that cold, but it's enough for me to be like, oh, it's too damn cold. And then, yeah, it's crazy. Let me know, guys. I hate dealing with winter. I always get sick in the cold. It's a lot to deal with. When I went to New York that time, it was crazy. Anyway, guys, let me know where I should go in Houston when I go, okay? I do plan to go maybe next month or the month after. It just really depends on everything, this whole CC thing as well. So, I definitely want to go back, and I definitely want to go visit Atlanta as well. So, let me know where I should go visit in Houston. And I hate how Houston is so spread out. Thank you so much guys for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, whip notifications, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys in another drama video.